So the, she was trying to, so you were trying to get it overturned? I got the call the day of prom because I was actually shopping to get myself together to take him to prom to take pictures as well. And then when I got the call from the day of prom, I called her that same day and I said, is there anything you can do on your behalf to help me see, see if myself can go what to prom? What would she be able she to do? She said she was on call the Board of Education to see if they can push it. Everything happened that same day. Yeah. And Either I way, everybody stop. That has nothing to do with our case. It's just an annoying to me yeah. that it's that it's whether it's a day before prom or at prom. It should really. This is something that needs to be addressed before a child has their hopes up and they're, mm. you know, blow drying their hair. Mm. It would be nice, you know. I mean, that's just awful. But in any event, so on May first, what day was prom? June sixth. May first, you put down two hundred. You agree with her. This is the contract. She may be doing the contract with the limo. But you two have your own verbal contract, and here is your contract. I'll pay $200, and my kid will get to go in that car. Correct. Right? Um, did she stop your kid from going in the car? No. Right. So on the day of prom, when you get the bad news, mm -hmm. you text her, mm -hmm. and you tell her, I want my $200 back. Correct. And I said if she couldn't do a $200, I'll just accept for 100 I just don't want to feel like I paid all that money, and my son could attend prom, and her kids went, and I felt like I just paid for her kids to go, and my son couldn't go. Okay. We did not write no contract stating if he could attend prom, I don't get my money back. There's not in black and white. We didn't, we didn't even discuss that Well, it is in black and white, because if you guys don't put it in black and white, then it's what the law says. Mm -hmm. So the law is you have a verbal contract, and the contract is that you'll put up $200 and your kid will get to go in the limo. Your kid doesn't get to go through no fault of hers. You are saying, well, that's unfair. I feel like I paid all this money and my kid didn't even get to go in the car. I hear you. Mm -hmm. But do you hear yourself? Because what you're suggesting is that through no fault of her own, okay, she should eat the $200, right? And that's not fair. So at some point during the text, you say to her, I'll that's a definition mm -hmm. of empathy, being able to understand the other person. Legally speaking, you don't have a leg to stand on. You know, I hope your kids are still friends. Are your kids still friends? Are your kids going to the same school next year? No. Uh, okay. All right. So you're done with each other anyway. <laughs> but um, she's right and you're wrong. My verdict in this case is for the defendant. Good luck, folks. Okay. Thank you. So is the judge.